Christmas in Jamaica features Grand Market, elaborate church services, parties with sumptuous food, community gatherings, and warm interaction with friends and family. Every activity is made more significant with the sharing of gifts. The traditional Christmas pudding or cake, ham, sorrel, rum punch, and eggnog, among other treats. Many Jamaicans cannot celebrate the season without adding Christmas lights to brighten freshly painted houses, whitewashed fences, and trimmed edges. Anticipation items in September with a countdown to year end, and by late November with Christmas breeze cooling the mornings and balmy evenings. Anticipation gives way to frenzied activities as almost everyone gets ready for the holidays. By then, the storefronts are decked with new stock to entice buyers and Christmas chorus fill the airwaves. This is the Jamaican Christmas. Welcome to the Elite Jamaica Christmas Special. If it's your first time joining me here, consider subscribing to the channel by clicking that red subscribe button. And remember to turn on notifications by clicking the bell icon so you never miss an update. The celebration of Christmas in Jamaica dates back to the period of slavery in the 17th century, when the island was a colony of England. During that period, plantation work would cease from Christmas Eve until Boxing Day every year, and plantation owners would give each of the slaves the annual gift of a piece of cloth and meat. For slaves who usually had only the entrails and other leftover scraps of the animal, the treat of meat was a delight. But what triggered even more merriment was the rare gift of wine the slave received. The plantations then had all-night dances that included masqueraders and plenty of drumming. It is from all these all-night dances that one of Jamaica's most enduring Christmas tradition emerged, Jankunu. Oh. John Kuno, a fusion of African mask dances and British folk plays, used to be prime street-side entertainment in Jamaica at Christmas. In colonial days, these bands would move from house to house, enjoying gifts of food and drinks or coins from the wealthy. One of the earliest descriptions of the mask dancers appeared in Edward Long's History of Jamaica in 1774. Long supposed that the John Kuno dance was named after a West African merchant known as John Kano or John Connie from Axim, West Guinea. In the towns during Christmas holidays, they have several robust fellows dressed up as grotesque habits, followed by a numerous crowd of drunken women who refresh them frequently, whilst he dances at every door, bellowing out John Kuno. This dance is probably an honorable memorial of John Connie. John Kuno bands play drums, rattles, fifes, and even bottles and graters. Traditional John Kuno features costume dancers such as King, Queen, Devil, Pitchy Pachi, Belly Woman, Cow Ed, Policeman, Horse Ed, Wild Apache Indian, Bride, and House Ed. Grand Market. Grand Market is held in all major towns and cities across Jamaica on Christmas Eve and continues into the early hours of Christmas Day. As the name suggests, it is a grand affair which brings buyers and sellers together for last minute shopping. This festive event involves vendors selling their wares on crowded streets that are closed to vehicular traffic but open to impromptu dancing as there is usually music to which people can dance as they shop. Christmas Chorals and Choraling In this Christmas tradition that is heartwarming and totally welcomed by Jamaicans, 
Community or church groups walk through rural neighborhoods early in the mornings leading up to Christmas Eve, singing Christmas chorals. Traditionally, chorals used to receive a token of appreciation. However, choraling was and is its own reward and a means of evangelism. Church services. Across denominations, communion services, candlelight ceremonies, concerts, all night prayer meetings and the singing of Christmas chorals are all expressions of reverence and acts of worship during the Christmas season. Roman Catholic and Anglican churches have midnight masses on Christmas Eve, while other Christian denominations have services on Christmas Day. In capital towns across Jamaica, parish councils organize Christmas tree lighting events. This tradition involves the official switching on of giant trees or tree-shaped structures in town squares that have been beautifully decorated. This is sometimes accompanied by firework displays, the singing of chorals, delivery of Christmas messages from local government officials, and the distribution of gifts. Christmas is the festive season for giving. Parents reward their children with the latest gadgets and co-workers surprise their office pixel of Christmas parties. Most important is the giving of gifts and Christmas treats to the more vulnerable groups in communities and state-run institutions. Christmas food and drink. The sorrel drink is also known as red tea, roselle, or Sudanese tea. Made from the Jamaican sorrel plant, a member of the hibiscus family, which has its origin in Sudan, Africa. The drink is an integral part of Jamaican Christmas tradition. Jamaicans make the refreshing beverage way in advance of Christmas Day. Traditionally, it was stored in stainless steel, earthenware, or enamel containers. To make the drink, boiled water is poured over sorrel, grated ginger, cloves, and pimento. After at least four hours, it is sweetened with sugar and flavors with, with rum or wine. Sorrel is served on ice. Eggnog. Served warm, eggnog is a popular feature of breakfast and Christmas Day in many homes. The sweetened, dairy-based beverage is made with whipped eggs, milk, cream, and sugar, and flavored with vanilla. For adults, rum or brandy is often added. Usually, eggnog is garnished with a little ground cinnamon or nutmeg. Christmas Fruitcake A must-have for Christmas is fruitcake. Many persons start soaking the fruits, prunes, cherries, raisins, and currants, months in advance. In most families, baking Christmas cakes or puddings is a whole day family activity. Young children are tasked with washing mixing bowls or preparing baking utensils lined with grease paper, while the older men cream the butter and sugar for the butter. Many Jamaicans give cakes as gifts or exchange them with neighbors. Christmas Day Dinners Christmas is a time of sharing. Family and friends from near and far usually gather to share special Christmas meals. Although menus vary from family to family, many tables are laden with honey glazed ham with pineapples, curried goat, roasted beef, stew pork, fried fish, and chicken dishes, accompanied by fresh salads and gungo peas and rice. Boxing Day. Boxing Day, which follows Christmas Day, got its name from the tradition of tradesmen receiving gifts in boxes from their employers for a year's work well done. Boxing Day is linked also to an older English tradition in which servants who had to keep working in their master's household throughout Christmas Day would be allowed to visit their families on the day after Christmas. The mistress of the house would give each servant a box with leftovers from the household's Christmas dinner and items of clothing from the annual pruning of the household wardrobes. The workers, therefore, always looked forward to Boxing Day, since this was when they would take home that box of gifts. Today, Boxing Day is better known as a bank or public holiday observed within the Commonwealth of Nations. In some families, Boxing Day is used to celebrate and visit with other relatives and friends, since Christmas Day often is reserved for closest family. The New Year A New Year offers the opportunity to reflect and plan. 
and Jamaican folk customs suggest that there may be serious seeing into the future on the dawning of the new year. One custom is to fill a glass with soap suds on New Year's morning and place it outside the door at noon, when the shape of its contents would dictate the destiny of the one who filled it. However far-fetched this folklore might seem to the skeptics among us, everyone invariably admits that Jamaica's Christmas is among the most spiritually colorful and soulfully enjoyable of all events. Thank you for joining me again guys. I really do hope you enjoy this video. If so, please remember to subscribe to Hilly Jamaica by clicking the red subscribe button. And remember to turn on notifications by clicking that bell icon so you never miss any of my updates.